Greetings, my fellow Narcadians. It's I, Talos Geld, and Master of the Narcadian Order, and we're here for more Pathfinder Adventure Path Iron Gods, Book 3, The Choking Tower. Uh, getting a bit of a late start today, unfortunately. Uh, had some technical issues to work out with a recent power outage in my area, so I had to get my monitor working again, which, which was surprising, and reset my router. The usual stuff you gotta do when... Well, maybe not the usual stuff for most of you. So we will get into this game shortly. In the meantime, please remember that there will be links down below in the description to my Patreon and to my Discord channel if you would like to become members of the Narkeen Order. So we shall join the game now. Okay, so uh, I'm going, I'm back. going to I'm going to read to you the room's description and. In case you, uh, since it's, it's been a while since we uh, last played a game, I want to re read you the room's description. This yeah. this wide room has a rounded desk in the center, inset with banks of technological equipment. A large set of doors to the northeast are badly mangled and jammed with rocky debris. A single glass panel with a thin with a thin metal frame extends from a desk to the south. This panel slowly flashes with a softly pulsating white light. A few inches of standing water cover the southern portion of the room's floor. Nice. I don't like this place. Will you all move away from the door, please? Can do. That includes you, Ugg. I'm checking it for traps. Uh, it feels good to have a mouse that doesn't double click and or can actually click for once. Look at what I can do with this bullshit. Uh, you do not find any traps. All right. Is it locked? No. If anyone wishes to to open it, they may. I will be back here. Enjoy Robo your open. Roba kicks the door open. Alright, give me one moment here. I feel like that's a little bit overkill, but you do you, man. You do you. Woman. The door curses and kicks back. <laughs> Fight the door mimic. <laughs> yeah, those do exist. I know. There's a, there's a mimic for everything. Mm -hmm. I once had a... I once had a... A clockwork mimic in a store in a game I was running. You have a clockwork mimic because a clockwork any golem was is you know. All right, the door is now I open. Hmm. The door opens. Clockwork mimic? Don't you mean transformer? Kinda. It was a mimic. That was. It was a mimic design. It was a clockwork engine designed to uh, designed to look like a chest. All right, checking this door for traps. You do not find any traps. Is it locked? No. Enjoy. Door kicking time. All right. So, <clears throat> all right. The door is now open. Hmm. Okay. Now we need to read the, this area's description. This ca oh, black lady. This cavernous chamber is split into a maze-like passages by tall stacks of dark dusty machinery. The western side of this room is a jumble of stone, as from a catastrophic collapse. Three crushed tubes protrude from underneath, from under the tumbled stone, each as wide as a wagon and capped with a, capped with a circular metal plate. To the north side of this room, a shattered glass terrarium surrounded by technical equipment stands empty. To the south, more shelling machinery looms amid workbenches scattered with technological parts and several large machines that bear restraints and metal skull caps. And we found one of Blanc's cousins. Yeah, so, uh, y as you, uh, break down the door and come in here you hear um 
cries coming from the room, and you see this mishappen figure kind of look at uh, Vrobe and go, And kind of suddenly starts working his way towards you. Go ahead and roll initiative. Of course. As it is time for our combat to commence. Mika <laughs> uh, okay. responds with rah, 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 rah. Oh Black Betty, don't you know? Oh Black Betty, you don't know. Oh Black Betty, don't you know? Oh Black Betty, you don't know. Oh Black Betty, Ramba Lam. So I actually watched the music. There's a music video for this, for for uh, Black Betty, and the guys in the band, the 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 lead singer is a is the guitarist, and they've got one guy on backup vocals who can't do shit. It's like, oh poor poor dude, you don't even get the courtesy of having give, of being given a rhythm guitar. Yeah, or at least a tambourine. Or yeah, or a tambourine. I mean, they don't even give him shit. It's like, well. Fuck you. I mean, even I mean, uh, what's his name? Uh, I think it's James Deacon. Deacon. The uh, drummer from Queen. The bassist from Queen. Me, bassist, bassist, yeah. John Deacon. Okay. Yeah, I mean, even he, you know, was the. Uh, although, you know what? They didn't just hire him because he was a damn good bassist. They hired him because he was also an electrician. Yes. Believe it or not. <gasps> Dimitri beat Blanc? No, he didn't. That, as a whole, I had to resort to list. Okay. Blanc, you're up first. Okay, so I'm going to come in to here. Wait a second. I'm going to come in to here. Oh, hello, cousin. How are you? I will be around there presently to talk to you. Uh, this is just, this is uh, blocking the, the way, right? That'll be uh, difficult terrain for you to clamber over. Okay, that's my fault. Oh, I don't want to go there just yet. Alright, so that's 15. That's 30. I'm gonna double move. To there. I will be with you presently. Ivan. Oh, good. Ivan is here. Come, Mila. Let us go in. Do, do, do. Oh. I see. <clears throat> well, there's only very few things I can do. Very few. I cast Bless. And I bless the rains down in Africa. Bless is always a good buffing spell. Great, now they deal more damage. All right, Dimitri. Uh, you said it's difficult to drain to clamber over this crap. Yeah. Or yeah. That's thirty. Okay. Dimitri and difficult terrain. He don't care. Apparently not. <laughs> he about to mur he about to murder some fucking androids. People taking the nice plight way through. Dimitri just climbs over shit. Yep, <laughs> that will definitely hit him. Yeah, uh, take a look here real fast. Do these guys have any? <sighs> nope. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, you guys did that already. <laughs> hey, is Jean Pascal's turn? Yes. 
All right, Jean Pascal is gonna move here, and he is going to shoot at this thing with his crossbow. All right. That'd be a miss. Do, 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 do. Of course. You need a. At <laughs> some point, you should get yourself a precise shot. I will. On oh, the first, you need a point blank. Alright. Ugh. Okay. Uh, we will. Yeah. Players 15, and then uh, that'd be 10. 20. Yeah, 25, sorry. 25. And sure, well, we could do 35 here, over here, it doesn't matter. And. I will hit it with my, my uh, Anamantime Great Axe with focus there. Alright, that hits. Alright. Mm. <laughs> Nim! Come join the party. Uh, I feel like this thing's about to get destroyed. That's okay, there's another one behind it. So Nem will move here and use his uh, Shield of the Mage to cast uh, Bestow Insight on himself, granting a plus two insight bonus on perception checks for the next couple minutes. And a district. All right, Varoba. Okay. Varoba's going to move here. Don't care if I get an attack of opportunity. All right. <clears throat> well, it hasn't gone yet, so you're good. All right. It's still flat-footed. And you finish this one off. This one off. Because I, I can see two more in the, uh, down the hall. <laughs> like they can do anything. Well, we don't know what they can do, so, you know. Famous last words, yeah. Alright, this one comes over to, uh. Over you, Varoba. Right, let's see here. And he's going to try and whack you with a Morning Star. Eighteen. Nope. Alright. Let's see, what is their movement speed? Just double checking that. Okay. Not very fast. These guys are kind of on the slow side. Good, I'm very glad they're they're slow. You're my best friend. Aw, thanks. Alright. Blanc, you're up next. Blanc's gonna go right here. And these are considered robots, correct? No. Really? No. Huh. You'd think they would. Anyways, Blanc is going to pull out his short shortest bow. Uh, oh, you forgot he had that, didn't you? So did I. Let's see, it's all accurate, yes. And uh, Android 3. Alright. Do, 
Do, do, do. That will miss. Of course it will miss. Probably rolled crap on it, too. Anyways, that's Blanche's turn. Alright. Eek. <sighs> My best friend. Well, they're being granted um, partial cover by the debris. Oh, okay. So, it's Ivan's turn. That's fair. Mm. Well... The funny thing is... The funny thing is... Huh. Alright, anyways... Uh... Yeah, screw it. Do, 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 do. Dimitri! Hello? You get the ward hex. Nice. That's plus two to AC and a plus two resist bonus on saving throws. Nice, thank you. Good brother! Have some fun! Oh, I will! <laughs> You're my best friend. That's Ivan's turn, Brett. Oh, I'm sorry. Dimitri. I'm gonna stand on top of Deformed Android 2's corpse. Okay. And I'm going to attack Deformed Android. <clears throat> oh. Alright, yeah, that will hit. It. All right, Delaro, you're up next. Delaro is going to move here. I, actually, he'll move here, and he's going to hit Android, the Android in front of Roba, with his crossbow. All right. Ooh, nice. Finally, some fucking work. If I can get to do my job. I won't confirm. Still, it hits. It hits. All right. Anything else you're doing? Ugh. Okay, well, I mute myself, and then I will do a papa step up and attack Android number three here. Uh, first attack. Second attack. Okay, those both hit. All right, well done. Dealt deal quite a bit of damage. Damn. All right, dim. Nem will move into visual range and attempt a knowledge check. Engineering. These, uh, you may ask me three questions. 
On Special attacks. Mm, none. Uh, special defenses. Uh, they are constructed. They have evasion and trap sense plus one. They are also uh, they are also immune to disease, emotion based effects, exhaustion, fatigue, fear, morale effects, and sleep. That sounds familiar. Special weaknesses. None. Uh, ah, yeah. all right. Well, I'm gonna hit the farmed android with acid splash. Ooh. Okay. Because reasons. Reasons. That's it for Nim. Fine, I get to use the full full, full attack. Eat flail, bitch. Nice. Okay, those are both hit. Alright. That's it. That's it. Okay. Remember the full attack. Yeah. So it's now their turn. That one's going to try and swing at you again, Veroba. Seventeen. Is... Okay. And it will collapse. Oh, good. It had zero hit points. Uh huh. The one in front of Ugg <laughs> is going to is going to do a nanite surge. <gasps> oh no! Not a nanite surge. Ugh, watch out. This might probably won't do much for you. <laughs> and so it will get a bonus to its attack roll. Mm hmm. 28 to hit you. Oh, damn, these are level 7s. I assume that will hit me, so there you go. Mm hmm. Alright. Minor flesh wound. Alright. Tell me a scratch. For 14 damage. Wrong. Alright, Andrew D4 Major number one is also going to Nanite Surge. Go up here to uh Dimitri and we'll try to hit you. Hey Ugg. Oh. Yeah, you only got dropped five points on that first one. So hit yourself for nine. So I think a thirty thirty-one's gonna hit Dimitri. Yep. Uh yeah. That will pop his uh ward hex. You bastard. Well, I rolled poor for damage, so. He ate it anyways. Alright, Blanc. Blanc will drop his short short bow. Um, and he's going to draw his swords as he moves in. Taking a careful path. Hello, cousin. I must do something for you. You appear to have way too much blood in you. Do you ha do you now have less blood? I hope so. Hmm. All right, he's dead. He oh, had, good. He had one hit point left. Now you have less blood in you. Etched. Ivan, gonna cat put the uh, the ward hex back on Dimitri. All right. Thank you, brother. You're welcome, brother. Have fun with it. All right, Ivan. I mean, uh, Dimitri. You're up next. Oh man. Android number Android number one is about to get a very bad time. Yeah, with uh, sixty-one points of damage. Fifty-one. He just disintegrates. 
Mm. I don't know. These guys seem to be a little bit tough. Not really. It helped that they were spread out. Yeah, that's true. I mean, can't really hit them all if, if they're spread out like that. All right. There we go. You dropped that one. And that takes us out of combat. <clears throat> right? Yes, it does. Okay. Hmm. This room is really weird. Actually, oh. um... Actually, uh... Funny you should mention that. Um, you are getting the strangest sense of deja vu. Blanc? Yes. And I smell character quest. And I and, smell the fact that Blanc probably came from this ship. And as you glance, as you inspect these deformed androids, there is a distinct resemblance. Hmm. They really are my cousins. What are uh, cousins? I, I feel like that. we're killing all your family now. No, you're not. The soul, uh, uh, from what I understand, our an android soul is only imperfectly added to its body. When we die, a new soul will come and gather, uh, incorporate itself into the body. That might be what I found on my instruction manual. I am not uh, sure. That's Ooh, not as much door. fun. I found a door. Jacket for traps. Hmm. Okay. No, seriously, that is literally what happens to an android. It's kind of weird. Anyways, any traps on this door? It's essentially, you go through a factory reset. Yep, factory reset, and a new, a new, bo a new soul takes over. Eh. Oh my god! Do you know what that means? What androids are basically creatures piloting mechs. Pretty much. Uh, no traps. No traps. Is the door locked? No. Huzzah. Vroba or Dimitri, you may open this door. I let Dimitri have the door kicking this time. I open the door! Okay, uh, give me one second here. Don't do the door kick. Guess you're not gonna. guess you're not going to partake in my love of door kicking. Oh, it is only a storage closet. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Full of death! Storage closet of doom! You know what they stored in this closet? All your hopes and fears before they killed them. You know what else they stored in this closet? Hmm. The broom of death! Well, that's quite the sweeping statement. Swear to God, if you have a broom of death in your game, <laughs> I'm flying to, to uh, New, or New Orleans. I'm going to take you to Toots Meadery, and then after our, uh, we have a wonderful dinner, I'm drowning you in the Gulf of Mexico. All right. And, it, and used in conjunction with the the uh, mop, of, mop of death. I mean, it was a broom or mop? Broom. And in here you find Alaris Selashi. Uh, the uh, Tentic League spy who apparently came down here to hide. Hello! <laughs> How are you? This this room seems oh! like a storage room of some sort with several old metal cabinets lined against the northern wall. Hey, we have found the Tentic League lady! Hello again! She... Are you gonna... <laughs> Are you gonna come quietly, or do we have to beat you to death? Do we have to beat you up and tie you down? Bo uh, so so, Blanc. Mm -hmm. looks That's Vroba saying that. Blanc looks at Vroba. Is that something people are into? That's what I'm into. But <laughs> she says, "Stay back. I won't. I won't hesitate to use any of this equipment against you." What the equipment? Uh, you see. Gathered in the room, various items apparently she has hoarded here. 
Oh, we're definitely going to need those. <laughs> yes, very much. Um, uh, hold on. I, I, oh, I, <laughs> uh, madam, just, 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 uh, g give me a second. Give me a second. Um, need. You have many spells on your person, correct? Mm -hmm. I feel like I should use uh, a spell on her. Is it fireball? No, I was thinking of hold person. How about you? Yeah, that would keep her from activating things while I murder her. I mean, um, while we interrogate her. Uh, 1 800 dial god. Do we have a. Were we supposed to return her? I don't think we were. No. No, you don't have to. Yeah, I I didn't think so. I mean, you can ah. I mean, you can bring her back if you want. I mean, do we really want to? I mean, she did cause nothing but trouble. Um, madam, uh if we were to capture you, is bounty on head? I'm sorry, repeat that, please. Madam, if we were to capture you, is a uh, bounty on head? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I mean, take, take that as a no, then. These, yes, I do too. You don't know what you're worth. I don't know what these backwards hicks think of me. Ah, but here's the reason why we shouldn't kill her. Why? She might have information on the Tetic League, and we need that. Do we? Yes, we do. We need to know why do they're we? here. They're here. Why they're always in these places for technology? Yes, it's very obvious. I, I, how long? Have well, you they been also might know. They also might might have some idea where that creature, that thing we're looking for, might be. Ah, good, madam. In there. exchange for us not brutally murdering you, tell us where. If you tell us where our quarry is, we won't kill you. Give me a diplomacy check. All right, you got it. And the face of the and I will make the diplomacy roll. We'll both make it. This is where we enter combat. Probably. Um Yes. How bad did we fail? Yeah. <laughs> uh let me do a sense of motive here. Uh Dimitri has a diplomacy skill. So does Grand Inquisitor Jean Pascal. Yeah, but Mitri's just waiting to find out whether he's going to be killing her or not. Well, she's yeah. eagerly waiting for an opportunity. Um. <clears throat> she uh, says, "You see her uh, demeanor." go from uh, tense to being downright hostile and she says you will never take me back there never and roll initiative that's well, fine we can... tried your corpse can stay here yeah uh delaro you said you had if you had ranks in diplomacy yeah well um, i had a rank uh okay yeah because you rolled a one <laughs> of course i did let me clear off these guys. By the way, so I can see next, I can see the next level. Ugg's gonna get a level in diplomacy because I can't do any works, right? I've been meaning yeah. to. I keep forgetting to add ranks to my shit because I keep forgetting what keep forgetting it. Uh, let me do that. Okay. <clears throat> I'll probably do it next time. Next oh, next time when I get a chance, so I can at Magma up character actually live up to what he's supposed to be doing. Okay. Very exciting. Very exciting. Sort a list. Okay. Now let me. Stir up some bow music. Blanc, you're up first. 
Second Cor first, same as the first. Of course, Blanc is, always, is up first. Yeah. I positioned myself badly, however. Uh, ugh, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> Go up to here and stab. Mm. That will miss. Hold on, uh, fly footed. Yeah, okay, yeah, that will. Yeah, this will miss. Really? Yeah. Mm. You miss her flat footed. <laughs> Ivan. Recast bless. It should still be up. If it is, it is. If it isn't, it's it's re it's you know doing doing the whole you know. I mean, had it been six minutes. Oh well, guess uh, okay. Don't don't I don't cast or uh, recast plus then. I'm going to do 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 do. Um. Hmm. Really, uh, not a whole lot I could do at the moment. I mean, I could throw a fireball in there. But you know what? I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do. Okay. Mm. I need a DC 17 uh, will save as I cast uh, old person. So, um, that's a crit fail. That's a failure. <laughs> that's a crit. That's a yeah. That's a, a crit fail. In fact, uh, so uh, she's so held. It's like it's like she didn't even want to move. She just wants to die. How long? How long does it last for? Um, hold person lasting for six uh, rounds. Round. So. She can reattempt the save once per round. This is a full round action. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Delaro. Delaro is going to move here. And let's see. What spells does he have that I can use to make this woman's life miserable? Let me see something real quick. Just take a moment. Okay. Hmm. I cast Inflict Light Wounds. That's a touch attack. Alright, fuck it. She's paralyzed, right? Yeah. Fuck her. All right. All right, I need to... I heard... All right, so... Our... All right, so she gets a plus... Okay, I have to see what her reflex bonus is from dex, because she has no dex. All right, so... Uh... If anything, be... actually, she's going to have a massive penalty now. Yeah. It's at least a minus five. Uh... What is my touch attack bonus? That'd be a strength check, right? No, no, a touch attack is dexterity. Okay, so it's plus two. No, right. a melee touch oh. attack is just a regular strength based attack. Oh, is it strength based? Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's a plus zero. You plus need weapon bad. finesse for the dex. Oh, plus my uh, base attack bonus, so that's four. Yes. Alright. 120 plus four. Shite! Yeah, that's still gonna miss. Fuck! Yikes. Uh, wait, hold on. Her deck, her touch is no. That that will hit. <laughs> no. Yeah, because yeah, we, she, be yeah, she, yeah, her touch is baseline, not that good. Minus okay. five. Yeah, you you touch her. Okay, so it's one d eight plus five. Yes. Sucks to be her.
Some people call that torture. Well, he is an inquisitor. I touch her forehead and I go, embrace Saren Ray. <laughs> Not exactly a good way to get converts. Eh, she's a heretic anyway. What a heretic? She works for the technique lead that makes her a heretic in my mind. It's Robust Turn. You, you should just, uh, what's that spell that marks him or whatever? You should just do that. Nah, I saved that for the true heretics. <laughs> it's the best approach, though, though, because people are dying to get in. All right, Roba moves up and flails her and gets over the flail. Hmm, yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, now she's going to do the save again. Good luck. Nope. <laughs> still paralyzed. All right. Oh, she okay. is not paralyzed. Or I can be do oh, you and wanna push right through me on the way to you. I don't know what you're gonna do. Uh, there's too many. There's so That's many people. What I did. Mm. I moved up and I moved back. Because <laughs> there's a bunch of people who, who are in this uh, this <laughs> this orgy of fuck of fucking her up. All right. Nim maybe could do something by dropping like a spear of a, a flame spear on her just to make her life more miserable. Nim looks at her frozen in place, all the people clustered around her. Sighs. Somebody just slit her throat. <laughs> no. <laughs> she, we gave her a chance and now she lives with this. Alright, Blanc. Too bad, we, too bad she's in a corner so none of us are flanking. You don't need to. You, she's helpless. You can coup de gras her. We could. Uh, that, Actually, that, since that she's paralyzed, how about we just... Because I do still want to interrogate her. Can we just knock her out? No. Um, the problem being, the rule of the group is, if we use something, the DM uses it. So, that is true. If we are, since we are in combat, and, you know, all that entails... So, so essentially, if you were to cougar on her while paralyzed, means I can do it to you. Exactly. Yeah. And honestly, <laughs> I don't want to give Brett that option. So, no. because once you open that door, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't. We are never closing it. And there are too many enemies in this game. I imagine who can paralyze you really quickly. Oh. Oh yeah, I mean, so, and it was in Pathfinder in general. Sure, in this adventure path, I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, I'm betting there's a few things that do the whole person thing. Anyways, Blanc did Blanc hit? Oh, um, sorry. Yes. Good. Both times. Oh yeah. Okay, good. I'm. I mean, uh, it'll be very hard. I mean, the only way you could miss at this point by rolling a one. Yeah, no. yeah. Um, Ivan's not going to do anything his turn except pet Neela. I have to go to the bathroom. All right. All right then I guess it's Grand Inquisitor Jean Pascal's turn. Uh, okay. Scimitar, baby. One of few, one of few times I should get to use that weapon. Yes. All right. Damage dealt. All right. Uh, Vroba's gonna try something different. All right. I wish he'd turn his mic off when he did that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Roba's going to try to use both of her uh, her full attack to see if she could do enough non-lethal damage to knock her out. All right. You want to do non-lethal damage? Yes. I'm in, I'm in. All right. Let's see here. Let me have to keep track of that separately. Yeah, just just to let you know that's not how that works there. Um, so since you started doing non-lethal damage, you have to do her hit points and non-lethal damage, I think, right, to knock her out or some crazy thing like that. So dealing non-lethal damage with a lethal weapon is minus four to hit. And yeah. then uh, once the current non-lethal damage equals her current hit points, she falls unconscious. Yeah. 
But people hitting her with regular weapons are going to kill her faster than you're going to do that. So. Well, if if somebody hits her and she has 10 hit points left, but she had oh, 12 yeah, non lethal, then she falls. Yeah. True. Yeah. True, true, true. All right. And then we hit her a couple more times, anyways. Yeah. No. All right. She's going to try to um, break free of the paralysis. And succeeds. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> You're still fucked, lady, but. Well, at least she gets her fucking dex back. <laughs> Not that it matters. Ugh. Oh, oh, I will look at it lightly and just set down my non existent uh, time. Uh, looking at the time. There you go. That's my turn. Alright. Oh, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Sorry. Mm. Go over here and check the body because we didn't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, those bodies. Holy crap. Yeah, loot the bodies. Alright, I'll get back to you on that. There's not much on them, just. Yeah, it'll take me a while to loot. So. Yeah. yeah. Nim. Continue on with the battle. Nim shrugs, uses a scroll from the shield, which was polypurpose panacea, to gain wakefulness, which grants him a bonus against sleep related spells such as lullaby and sleep. <laughs> Alright, Belong. Yeah, she's about to die soon anyway, which is annoying because I wanted to knock her out. Damn it. Iron Bite. Yes, you're up. Oh, uh, she's no longer helpless. <sighs> that sucks. Alright, your first attack will hit, your second attack will miss. Alright. Ivan. Uh, Ivan's not gonna do anything but twiddle his thumbs at the moment. Alright. <laughs> Delaro. Delaro's gonna use his scimitar and try to get, continue a non lethal attack. That will miss. Of course. Roba. Second verse, same as the first with Roba. Now lethal. Alright. Oh, shite! Okay, uh, even with the minus four. <laughs> you know, you can die from non lethal. I uh, know. If, yeah, it's a certain extent. Oh, wow, uh, and that does confirm. Uh huh. Oh, here. I, I, oh, yes, right. Those are non lethal attacks. So you put them in a separate. And you put them down here. <laughs> okay. I'm still up. Really? Yeah. Wow, what is her HP? What the frick? Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I need to uh, double check something here real fast. Alright. All I can um... think is... How are you still... How are you still standing? Alright, let's see. Okay. <laughs> okay, she disappears. <laughs> like... In hindsight, I should have just killed this bitch. Yeah. Uh, you you hear basically a poof and then poof somewhere else nearby. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no attacks of opportunity. Oh, Shit. really? Yeah. Fine. This this ability does not grant attacks of, of opportunity. Why are you wasting your last, you wasted a crit on that too. Oh, well. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so it was your turn. You heard the noise coming from uh, uh, this way. Uh, she's about to be. She's about to have a very bad time. <laughs> Where'd she pop out? Hello. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, she's over here. <laughs> Get her! All right. Apparently, Ugg did. <laughs> And she falls unconscious. Yes! Anybody got any rope? Oh, she's the, she doesn't need any rope. Alright. Now you can slit her throat. No, no we're not doing that yet. Are we still in combat? It's up to you guys. Tell me when it's my turn. I mean, I want to interrogate her, then we can kill her. Uh, Nim will start examining the items in the room. All right, who's got rope? I want. To... All right, we're out of combat then. I think uh, Ugg wanted a turn though. Well, if we're out of combat, you can go and take it now. Uh, all what, right, what I you will let you interrogate. But basically, I'm standing. This I'm basically blocked. Is this door closed? Closed. These doors no. closed. No, no, you left them open. If not, I'm closing. I'm going to close them then. Oh, I put myself under her. Can you move that? I don't know how to move her. Move myself. Thank you. All right. You see any? Are there any chairs in this room? All right. Um. Sorry, I'm closing this door. That's basically. <clears throat> there, there's so a chair over here. She's stuck in there. All right. Grand Inquisitor Jean Pascal is going to grab the chair. Uh, who has a rope? All right. Uh, okay. So. Loot. Um. Yes, let's get the loot. Alright, okay. so... She has on her... Let me copy and paste this. Let's see. Combat gear, wand of lightning bolt. Ooh, that's nice. I think Nim would nice. like that. I think Nim would like that. <clears throat> uh, other gear. Studded leather. I don't need that. Scim one plus one scimitar. Ooh. I'll take that. Rift boots, eh? Mm hmm You can have them right. do a knowledge engineering check on those. Alright, I'm taking the plus one scimitar. <clears throat> also, and also the uh, items in the storage room. Oh, uh, wrong character. Alright, let me let me edit uh John Christopher Jean Pascal's scimitar attack, so it's now And this is what you find two. in the storage room. A time warp white ball. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, uh, that white hall. Uh, sorry. Okay. I was gonna say, don't forget the other other features too. Did you already put those in there? Uh, okay. What? Okay. What the androids had on them? Yeah. Yes. Let's see. Rift boots. Hmm. Why can't I find rift boots? Ah. You remember the item I told you I had to find the information of from the author's own blog? That's Is the that it? That's it. Okay, so I did find something uh, that's similar. Jaunt boots. Uh, these stylish black leather boots are stitched with images of winding rows and trails through peaceful orchids. They can be worn up to mid-thigh and owner have their cuffs turned down to make knee-high boots. Sexy. Three times <laughs> a day, as a move action... The wearer can move up to 15 feet, or her movement speed if it's less than 15 feet. This movement does not provide provoke attacks of opportunity. Not too sure it's quite not, where it is. Not the same thing. So, so what? That's how she's been teleported. Uh, yeah, allow me to read this. Authors of Paizo's Adventure Path volumes usually write more than the adventure itself. We also write up statistics for 
the two or three NPCs featured in the back of the adventure with new magic items. And even sometimes the new monsters in the, in the Choking Tower, the, th the Thought Harvester and the Thornell are both mine. Here's one of the items I submitted that didn't make it to the final cut to be included in the adventure. Partly be that's because there's another item need to be included among these items, uh, which was which was added after I had turned in my manuscript. Something had to go in order to make room for it, but mostly because the item is probably too cheap for its power and therefore not great as a, as magic item, or in this case, technical item designs go. But here it is, Rift Boots. And you can click on the link to find the information on it. Okay. That's not bad. No, they aren't. No, this is this would... I, I would have thought that these things would have been included to, um, yeah. you know, an official yeah. item. Yeah, if they're included in her, in her gear. There's no information about it in the book at all. There's no information in the tech guide. There's no information about it on the, on the SRD. Or any other source. I had to find it here. Wow. Oh, snap. That arc pistol is uh, valuable. Mm. I would think it would. Ooh, a wand of lightning. Of lightning bolt. 20 charges. Uh, hmm. What else? Ring of protection. Uh, what type of t thieves tools does uh, Blanc have at the moment? Yeah, like, yeah. If it hadn't, it had, if it hadn't been for work, if it hadn't been for the paralysis, this fight would have gone a bit differently. Mm -hmm. Not that differently. Hmm. Uh, three silver discs. I don't know if any of those spells would be of any use to anybody. They'd probably be good for Nim. Yeah, I wanted to know what the prepared spells she had were. Because uh, those are in the spell book as well. That's an arrow. All right, I should no, the prepared spell. spells. Yeah, those are all the prepared spells. I mean, so I'm generally, right now. generally in the monster listings, they'll have the prepared spells and then a handful of other spells in the spell book. Right. Well, contains so, all spells prepared. Bro, bro, all yeah. bro, bro, is that great? Yeah. Brett just so, the 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 prepared spells. Okay. You, you're you're not getting what what magic's after, okay? Okay. So the prepared spells plus the other spells that are in the spell book but not prepared yet. Yeah. Okay. That the, the I, I mean I immediately knew what he what he meant. We we're talking about the stuff that she could have have um she could have uh cast is Man, what we're at. Fucking shit. Okay. That'd okay. Be weird. Yeah, it's a, okay. It's a, it's it's this is an okay item, but I don't see anybody wearing it. What the uh, rift boots? Yeah, I mean it's only a fifteen foot uh, jaunt. I mean they'd be pretty good for Blanc, so he doesn't no, have not, to. Uh... Actually, no, it's not just fifteen feet. It can go up to a hundred feet, mm -hmm. um, and it can be done as a move action if you expend four charges. Right. That's how she got away. She, she she cast Vanish on herself and then used the boots to go 100 feet. Uh, and the oh, sir, if, when she first did that, if we looked 100 feet away from us, we would have found her. Yeah, but no, the thing, if, no because the thing is, Vanish lasts a, a, um, a round. A, a, so she had more than enough time to use the boots twice. Oh, okay. Just, making, just wondering, because I was thinking... If we had just walked like a hundred feet away and we, we'd have found her, that would have been funny. Well, assuming you would have known where which direction she went. Yeah, True. You're, you're, you're about a hundred feet in radius here. I mean, that's a that's a lot of area. True. All right. Well, I keep asking who has rope, and no one has answered me. I have rope. Okay, tie her up. We're gonna need tie, put her, bring her back into the closet so we have more space. I, I groan, but I will pick her up and put her... Nah, Brober can do it. She's stronger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Robo picks her up, over, hoists her over her shoulder, and brings her to the closet. While she's tied to the chair. Do, 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 do. Would you mind doing that, Brett? Do, you want, do what now? Oh, move can her you bring to her to the, the closet? Because that's, that's where they're going to interrogate her. All right. 
I wake her up. You have the healer. Oh, oh, uh, well, I got cure light. Alright. Okay. Are, are we going to decide on some of this loot here? Um, actually, try to. Uh, okay. So we got a plus one studded leather. All right. <clears throat> so, the thing that I care about. I'll wait till they're done uh, hiding the loot, then I'll do the interrogation. Oh, I'm good. I'm Blanc is good on armor at the moment. Ooh, let's see what a plus one studded leather does for uh, Ivan. My breastplate's better than that, probably, so I'll keep that. Right now I've got scale mail. Duh, nope, it's not better than what I got. So, there's that. Um, would Nim be interested in the Wand of Lightning Bolt? Of course Nim would. Mm. Yeah, my breastplate, Grand Inquisitor Jean Pascal's breastplate is definitely better than the studded leather. Okay, that's nice. Uh, let's see. So, what did the... And the androids had concussion grenades and hide armor and a morning star. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, nope. I already got a ring of protection one on Ivan, and Blanc has a ring of protection two. Uh, uh, I can't get, can, I, can I take the ring of protection for Grand Inquisitor Jean Pascal? What does he... Does he have anything... Like that? I don't have a ring of protection. I don't have any rings. So, no. so I, 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 I'd, I'd give it to another frontliner. All right. Yeah, I can take it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You have the ring of protection plus one. As far as the root rift boots, uh, we'll decide later. Um. I think that's. Yeah, I think Blanche would get them. Would benefit from them more. How how are we using the charges? The charges are are yeah, are silver discs, right? No, the charges are batteries. Server discs right, are depleted right. batteries. How many batteries do we have at the 20 moment? 20 batteries at the moment. Mm. Each so battery has 10 charges. So, equivalent of 200 charges. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll wait for them to interrogate her, and, and then I'll decide later. All right. Okay, so um, is she fully healed to wake up? Uh, she's yeah, you healed her enough to where, where she can wake up. Um, what is Delarose combat maneuver bonus? Um, let me check because it might not be on his character sheet. It should oh, be. Oh, uh, plus four. Plus four. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. Uh... Why do you need to know? <clears throat> You'll find out. She she, uh, she wakes up and she is furious as you you see her struggling against the bonds of the rope and she gets loose. She fucking does. Well, smack her. <laughs> I'm about to. All right. Um. Yeah. Go ahead and if you want to go ahead and take an action. Oof. Okay, so, uh, well, we took her boots off, so she can't do that. Yeah, and she's currently flat-footed. That that will hit her. Were you trying to do non-lethal or lethal? Non-lethal. Non-lethal, then that will miss. All right. Well, Roba's gonna try to grapple her. All right. I don't. Um, I don't know how to do grapple attacks, so. It's I... um, it's a D twenty plus your combat maneuver defense. Uh, no, your combat maneuver bonus. Uh, all right, and Robo's combat maneuver bonus is eleven. You grapple her. All right, she pins her to the ground and pins her in an arm bar. Okay, you have to do another. Uh... She struggled. Hold on, just hold on. There'll, there'll be another round. Okay. Hey, do you guys mind helping me? No. <laughs> <laughs> you sons of bitches. 
<laughs> it's like that one scene from Brooklyn Nine Nine. All right, she is going to try and break free. Dimitri runs in with his axe. You know, brother, uh, why don't you help them? Kill her. All right, she breaks free of your grapple. God damn yes, bless her. <laughs> Are we really rolling initiative for this? No, not really. No, I'm not. I, I don't she know. Do I just want to make sure. Okay, well, then, when it, tell me when it's my turn. That's all I got to say. So. All right. Uh, let's see here. Dimitri, you moved in there. Uh, Nim, go ahead and do your thing. I'll just keep you in the same order you're in. Okay. In that case, uh, Dimitri was removed from the initiative. He had a 23... or 21.3, I think it was. But yeah, no, Nim's just gonna watch and, and laugh. Alright, I'll get go ahead and do your thing. Well, this door was closed, so I'm just gonna move over here and close these doors. Alright. Well, there you go. Oh. Waste. Okay. Dimitri, you're so just going to stand around. Blank, what are you doing? No, no, Dimitri's not standing around. Oh, you're not? Okay, what are you doing? Dimitri is doing what his brother told him to. Which is what? Killer. Killer. Oh, okay. <laughs> and she's cut down. See here, and she was healed for. Fuck, damn it! Wrong tool. I don't want that tool. I was just gonna give him a chance. I was gonna close a couple doors and then kill her. So fair, fair. But Dimitri is unlikely to say no to his brother's advice. That's true. If you haven't been steered wrong before, why, why, why change it up? You know. She's still alive. Really? Lucky. How? She has a she has a lot of hit points. You guys and you you dealt some physical damage to her, but you mostly knocked her out to do non lethal. Oh. She's probably very unconscious again though. Yeah. You knock her unconscious because they're non lethal. Okay. So <laughs> you gonna try again? Yes, this time we're going to try to make sure that her t ropes are... This time we're going to... This time I'm going to bolt her fucking legs to the goddamn chair. How? I have ways. Do you have manacles? No, but I do have crossbow bolts. And a hammer. Look, if you just <laughs> cut off her arms, she can't do anything anyway. Problem solved. I like it. Problem solved. I like my method better. It's another form of torture to, for her. For her. So her. essentially, you 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 are going to try and stick her to the ground with crossbow bolts. Yeah, I'm going to put. I'm going to nail her cross crossbow um, bolt. That's not going you're, to work you're, very you're, well. You're going to try and crossbow. You're going to try and do that down to a metal floor. Hey. Oh no! I'm doing it to the chair. Hey! Hey! Would this cause an alignment change? No. <laughs> Maybe. We'll deal with that we'll deal with that later. Um, because I'm just trying to interrogate her, okay? Just <laughs> oh, let's... This isn't interrogation anymore. This is now torture. <laughs> Let Zagre do what Zagre does with his characters. I know. I'm just like going. Alright. Alright, Zagre, here is what I want you to do. Okay. Crossbow bolts are well thicker and stouter than uh, normal arrows. The trying to do use them in this way is still pretty tricky. I'm mostly making a joke. You know, I I might be able to uh, offer uh, an alternative. We just need something that'll keep her from breaking free of her bindings, whatever that might be. Even well, if it's just like tying them tying them way more tighter than we need to. Well. The, the the uh I have a there's a set formula for for break DC for breaking out of a uh, rope. Ropes. Nim possesses a set of traveler's any tools, which 
he can turn into any tool, which I think would cover manacles. I'm not trying to actually do that. I'm mostly joking. I'm trying to just, like I said, I'm trying to brainstorm a way to get her from not breaking out of her bindings again. Yes, like manacles. Okay, go for it. Usually I carry a pair with me, but for some reason I forgot to pick them up this game. All right. All right, Nim, do your thing. All right, Nim twists the uh, magical Trailers Any Tools into a pair of manacles and tosses them to you. All right, so I don't know what manacles actually are. Let me look that up. How do you spell that? They're basically handcuffs. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do that, and I also tie a rope around her. Around her. Can never be too secure. All right. Uh, and... Ivan, do you have any healing spells? Of course I do. I'm not wasting them on her. <laughs> Good job. Okay, yeah. fuck it. Roba's got lay on hand, so she'll use that. I forget how many, how much damage, how much healing Leon hands does. Bro, you gotta, you gotta remember that yourself. I know it's just that I don't use it enough. I haven't used it enough to, to uh, remember it at the moment. Yep. And I'm not helping on wasting spells and stuff. So. I mean, she's not a healer anyway, so. I understand that, but that's healing that we could use for the party or something else. That's and we're gonna burn it on this. So yeah, this this shenanigans. So, Come on, bro. Fine. Mm. I got another other way to hit, get her back up from being unconscious besides waiting. I mean, she's not moving anyway, probably. So not anytime soon. So we can just leave and come back for it. For her. Besides, we besides bringing her in alive for the uh, what you call it, the village we she's she's a she's a, a saboteur or whatever for might give us a better reward for it anyway. See I, now you're talking my language. I yeah. You know. All right, leave All her right. in the closet. Uh, lock it as well while while we're before we leave. All right. All right. uh, lock it and break the lock, so that way we can only we can get through. All right, all right. So you leave her uh, tied up and manacled. So, you're... and before we leave, uh, Roba closes the door and breaks the freaking lock. Okay, so you break the lock. Uh, give give me a uh, strength check. Okay. That way, the only way we're getting in is knocking the door down. All right, you don't break the lock. Dimitri! D you know, I believe our uh, resident lock expert could probably disable the lock for a while. Okay. You called? Yeah. <laughs> disable this lock so she can't get out if she wakes up. Give me a disable device check. Hmm. There's a slight problem there. Hmm. What's that? I wasn't impersonating. All right, you, all right. You're able to um, jam the lock up so that only you should be able to. Uh, you're fairly confident that only you should be able to to uh, unlock this lock now. Okay. So we shall we continue, my friends? I found more doors. Did you check them for traps? I was about to. Is okay. there a volcano? No. If only. only. Doors. Giant floating eye. No. Unfortunately, there are mm. there are more doors, but this is not more door. <laughs> All right, let's see here. And we know we simply could not walk there. You would be surprised. <laughs> Dude, All right, you can. You totally can. All right, uh, you do not find any, any traps. Is it locked? Does not appear to be. Okay, open it up. Enjoy your death. <laughs> okay. Rub. Oh, I guess Dimitri. All right. 
Dimitri enjoys his death and opens the door. Workbenches <laughs> and tools litter this large room. Around an unusually uh, unusual looking forge. A variety of bladed weapons hang on the walls. A shelf to the north end of the room holds polished humanoid skulls. Dibs. I like the decor, but there's uh, something in there. Yeah. Should we roll it? Come on. Is it another cousin? Uh, this this android is distinctly female in appearance. Ooh. You see Blanc kind of slicking his hair back underneath his hood. <laughs> um, Cousin fucker. Uh, although, there's a strange, like, cleft, like, running vertically um, up her face. So, like her head's been split and kind of pieced back together. Um, Rub is not picky. Even moving? No. It, 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 Just... You just need a paper bag. Yeah, just, just zoom in on that picture and you'll see what I'm talking about. I can't see it, so... I do it's not half think... Hidden, so. I do not think this unit is... Nice. Oh, um, hmm. guys? What is I, that? I think we came for... We found half of what we are looking for. Alright, on. <clears throat> oh, um... Nim! Get in here. Is she moving? Like, uh, should we be right. entering into combat or what? Uh, yeah. Uh, as soon as hold on, uh, back things up a bit here to when uh, Dimitri opened up the door. Dimitri opens up the door, and this uh, android sees Dimitri standing at the doorway, and you see her. You hear her screech out. Intruders. <laughs> of course. And she she points her gun at Dimitri and prepares to fire. Roll initiative. Oh, oh. Well, that's just uh, yeah. No. Now blesses off. What is now that? blesses off, right? Yeah. Yes. Now bless. Yeah. After all that shenanigans. <laughs> Ooh, nice roll for me. Not so good for. Though we do may want to revisit the idea of cutting her arms off later. No arm cutting. The most I will willing to do is pull teeth out. Oh yeah, I, and brain. Brain. I mean, yeah. arguably that's worse. Yeah, I mean, and, she'll and survive. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let me just get the combat move it, music back up again. This is leading her to a slower death. I mean, I've only ever pulled one tooth out in this whole entire campaign, and the minute it happened, the guy caved. I'm just saying. I I mm. say cutting her arms off is merciful. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Not really. Hmm. All right, she is going to fire at Dimitri. Shot oh. through the heart, you're to blame. All right, uh, okay, that's going to be 11 to your touch. That will that miss. miss. Second attack. Shot through the heart. And you're mm. to blame, baby. You give oh. androids a bad name. Well, well that was even Fail. worse. That was even worse. <laughs> uh, that was... Damn, really? Fuck. For once, the dice are on our side. Uh, that Seems was... like a decision, yeah. Alright. Ugh. Fuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what happened when she fired? Basically, the the pistol missed. All right, so it's a pistol. Okay. It's a uh, it's an energy okay. it's an energy weapon. You see this beam of blue energy hit the walls around you, and where it hits, you see ice crystals form. Nice. It's a freeze ray. 
question. What, what is, she, is she just holding that gun? That's it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Shiza. Oh, I should I should mention that when come what what she said only the only uh, Nim under, un, understood what she said. Oh, Nim will reply in the same I language. As well, referring. that's rude. I assume all this is rupturing there. So. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah. That's that's right where right. that's where our workbench is. Yeah. So you're actually kind of like standing on, on a bench right now. That's fine. If we can get there. Oh, so Ugg has the higher video. ground. It's a, mm -hmm. it is a double move to get there, so that's why. Okay. I'm done. Veroba. Okay. Veroba is gonna move here. Can I hit her from this distance? Yeah. Okay. You're, you're, yeah, you're adjacent. Yes. Yes. Cause I played my part and I played your game. Alright, that will hit. Yes. Boost, yes. Okay. <laughs> I've been watching Vine Sauce too much lately. Alright, Blanc. <clears throat> Blonky, 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 blonky. Ah. So. Hey, I can get right here. And stab in the gut. Oh, I should have gone here for the. Uh, should have. Uh, should have, could have, would have, didn't. So oh well. It's here. Oh well. Hey, you dealt a little bit of damage. Dimitri. Well, since I can't five foot step and full attack now, I don't take a longer route. Sorry. No, it wasn't you. Oh. 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 Ah, sounds like someone's shooting outside my house. That's great. It sounds like something's shooting in here too. So, you know, go go uh, go out to your window, open it up. So you're not special. Outflanking initialized. Mm. Oh yes, that's right. It's outflank time. Oh, I'm so close yeah, to a crit. I have that too. Oh, it's outflank time. Yes. All right, you dealt your damage. Excellent. <clears throat> Whoa! It's just, it, it's just Dimitri and um, Blanc. Blanc that has an outflank, right? Yeah, uh, I don't think Veroba or. Okay. Well, Veroba's really the only other. That, that will miss. Yeah, that. that... Inquisitor Jean Pascal is going to sit this one out. You guys got it. All right. Ivan. Uh, Ivan is going to come in here. Cast Bless. Okay. So, you know, Bless time, everybody. All right. All right. Let's, all right. Well, let's see if I can do this. Um... What is Aroba's uh, CMD? Ten. Ten? No. No, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. not. Eleven, my bad. Not, a, not even. You're oh, seeing... wait, 21, 21, 21, 21. My bad. Okay. You gonna try to get out? Yeah. Not gonna happen. No, not with that nope. roll. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, if I recall, I need to double check some here. 
If you attempt to move through enemy space and fail the check, you lose the move action and provoke an attack of opportunity. Oh boy. Mm. All right, well, that's going to be one, two, three, four attacks of opportunity. So who's ever, who, who's all getting attacks of opportunities? Roba, Blanc, Ugg, and Dimitri. Okay. Now it's just gonna be your first attack. Okay. Yeah, we... <laughs> Let's see here. Minus uh, seven, minus... And and would Ugg like to uh, to to join in on the free? Yeah, I was just looking for a power attack. I'm still using. Right? I mean, well, yeah. I haven't done anything. That's right. I haven't. I haven't done anything. I just moved. So it's just a regular attack. She must be drunk because she looks hammered. <laughs> that's without focus. Oh, that's so lovely. Okay. Well. All right. Um. Oh, that should be one higher because uh, of plus. I didn't put plus on the hit. Yeah. One. Uh, you hit her. I mean. Okay. All right. All I'm right. gonna I'm gonna roll a D4. All right. Well, she's gonna fire at Blanc. Why? Oh, right. Ao. Oh, and I don't. I don't have combat reflexes. Yet. <laughs> Eighteen to your touch. To the touch? Yeah. Ow. Alright. Oh, that kind of hurts. Alright, so it's me, um... One, two, three, four, Cousin, please. Mm. I have done nothing for you. Plus. I have done nothing for you. <laughs> Last session it's party nearly gets four, murdered. This session party four, murdered everything. Kind of covered in her blood. Alright, you take 12 points of cold damage. Cold damage. Mm-hmm. Wait a second. Maybe it's I have. Freeze to... ray. Um. Nope. I do not have immunity to cold damage. Oh well. All right. By the way, Brett. Um, I can see her on the initiative list. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't want to say anything. Because we thought you, it was just a thing you were doing. It didn't matter because she went first right out the box anyway. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. know why he doesn't hide them by default. <sighs> Alright, um, if I take a five foot, that's a five foot step with the rook train, so I'll just attack where I'm at. So, uh, attack one, attack two. Not bad. Not bad. And I forgot. Plus one, they hit all, on both because of one, so I don't know how to set that up. I mean, sure I yeah, you hit her. Uh, as a matter of fact, your first <laughs> your first attack strikes her down. Aww. Well, I'm going to strike her again anyway. All right. Well, that that fight was uh... anticlimactic. Uh, it was, it was... Blanc picks up her freeze ray. I wish to have this. <laughs> well, let's uh, take a look at the loot and see how it works, and then you can decide if you want it. Also, I want one of those skulls. Why would you want a skull? It's a silver skull, man. Why wouldn't you want a skull? Skulls are weird. I also, like to keep mine on my shoulders. Also, okay. she seems to be missing something. Who's writing down the loot anyway? Is somebody, I hope somebody is. It's me. It's okay. uh, Masterwork Green Scatterlight Suit. Uh oh. What does that do? Well, oh. it didn't do very much versus the. Yeah, I mean, all yeah, I it, it didn't do very much against us. <laughs> However, let me know if I need to roll to identify any of this stuff. Uh, roll. my uh, take ten is crazy high though. Yeah, uh, roll again. Uh, roll for the scarlet suit and the time worn pistol. Suit. All right. Yeah, you figured that out. And the... pistol. Oh, yeah, you definitely got the pistol. Wow, 25 and 40. Wow, I rolled really low on that first one. Uh, yeah, mm. yeah, you, yeah uh, a five. 
So, I'm wondering if Scatterlight suits can be worn with armor. Hmm. I assume they can. Let me pull up my tech guide here. Alright, armor, armor, armor. Well, let me read you the zero pistol here. I can tell you no, because Scatterlight suit is listed as armor. Light armor. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at that right there, so... Nope, that ain't gonna happen. Mm. Nope. These, we can these, just sell it. These right. armor... Zero Not. pistol. A zero pistol fires a beam of freezing particles at high velocity, dealing cold damage to anything it strikes. Any creature critically hit by a zero pistol ray must exceed a DC 15 fortitude saving throw or become staggered by cold for one round. That's not bad. But at the same time, um, it's an exotic weapon, so. <laughs> I'm not wasting a feat on exotic weaponry. All right, let's see your sca yeah. A scatter suit is is a suit of tight, form-fitting suit of highly reflective polymers and synthetic metal fibers. It's designed to reflect beam weapon attacks and provides only minimal protection against physical damage. Activating a scatterlight suit is a standard action. Once activated, the suit d diffuses and blurs light reflected from its surface, making the wearer appear hazy and indistinct. While active Scarlet Suit increases the wearer's touch AC by a variable amount of its bonus of his armor bonus, but also uh, but does not increase the wearer's normal or flat-footed AC beyond the Scarlet Suit's baseline armor bonus. Uh, green would give you... Plus bon five. Plus five bonus of touch. Unfortunately, I'm not going to take it because, well, an hour. It's a da it's it's a huge downgrade to what a to what Blanc is wearing at the moment. Yeah, only, has, is, only... Is, is there arcane? Is there an arcane spell failure on that? This Five percent. Oh, okay, never mind. It'd be kind of cool if it was just. Nothing so, so a mage could wear it. I mean, it's not five percent. It's not that bad. No, I mean you would have to. It's, it's really a one on a, on a d twenty. So yeah, but it's the whole when I roll it, it when you really need it, it's gonna you know might fail. Yeah. Would you wear or would you use a weapon that automatically missed on a one and a two? Nope. Um. Probably not. Um. I won't say anything because um. It is a plus five armor bonus as compared to mage armor, which is a plus four armor bonus. Yep. So for a caster, it's effectively a plus one bonus for that one out of 20 chance of messing a spell up. Yeah, it's great. not worth it. If it was a lot better, then you might take the risk, but it's, that one's not worth it. By the way, they said the description of this room said there were blades on the uh, wall. What kind of blades are they? Room loot. See here, does it just does it describe anything in this room? Okay, treasure. Okay. It hey, wasn't John Pascal uh, gonna be trying to flex into gunslinger or something. Yes, he is. Uh, he has two feet. He has. He already has uh, point blank on his uh, in coordinated <laughs> shot. So All he right. just needs one other. Yeah, you uh, know, uh, firearms are an exotic weapon, right? Nim. Yeah. No, so yeah. need, uh, Give me a knowledge engineering check. Got it. All right. You determine that this room is a. Okay, let's see. Check allows the character to determine the one time use of this room in production lab and that the components stream about this place are intended to create a long range com communications device. Among the mostly ruined and useless supplies, however, it can be you can found three time worn com sets. All three Ooh. all three time worn com sets are fully charged. So those are just That's nice. Uh, yeah, headsets. Radios? Yeah. If we I guess if we ever split the party, which would be stupid. If Other than that, um, other than that, that's all you find in here. So, 
Really? Because I remember when you said the rim description. It said I know. Weapons on the... I know it said that, but it's not listed. It's not listed as loot. It's not not valuable stuff that not usable. Whack. Just display pieces. Robo was hoping to get a silver. I take it all. All right. Well, here's a door we haven't opened yet. And there's also some doors right here. Actually, is there a door over here? Let me check here real quick. Wow, this place here is we cool. are. Comset. This handheld device allows for communication between Comset users, carrying audio and visual signals, including a built-in camera that records all communications being broadcast. Uh, you tune to the same frequency. has a range of one mile by default. Now that's Ooh, nice. they are 6,000 gold each. Hello. That's a lot of scratch. Mm -hmm. Can we hire out another venture party and have them go on some other adventure mm -hmm. and keep in comms with them? I swear to God, we are, not, it, we are not going to... Um, um, adventure Sim? Come on, Adventure Sim! No, we're not going to Assassin's Creed this place. All right. uh, I am going to check this this door. All right. By the way, there's a whole bunch of place. There's a whole bunch of space we j we haven't missed over here. So if we want to check that out, we can. Can it's fucking big as fuck. I know. But uh, yeah, yeah, I know. All right. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, yeah. That is going to be a no trap. You don't want to no traps. Trap. No traps. You don't want um, to, no, it does not appear to be trapped. Uh, yeah. yes, I locked. Dimitri. Dimitri, do your thing. I opens the door. Hopefully the con concussion grenade or whatever trap is not bigger than 20 foot. So, Oh, I mean. <clears throat> All right, you open the door and let me, uh, let's see here for a second. I'm sure it's a very short lightning bolt. <laughs> All right, you open the door and as you do, you see a bunch of Andrews in there and they're going to all throw concussion grenades out into the hallway with you right now. As they had, uh, they had raid actions. How could they tell? It's we were so quiet during battle. Yes. Oh, Smash this is about to blow up our face. <laughs> Smash cuts us, uh, us kicking doors in. Yeah, so let me. Uh, Save the company, Marines. I'm sorry, I was having flashbacks. <laughs> concussion grenade. Let me look those up. Oh shit. <laughs> Hey, why why are you throw why are you throwing that what loot's in that room? Come on, <laughs> please tell us, androids. Okay, uh, a grenade detonates at the beginning of the wielder's next turn, hopefully in the area targeted. When a grenade detonates, it damages all targets within a twenty foot radius spread. A successful DC fifteen reflex save halves any damage dealt by a grenade. Concussion grenades deal 5d6 points of bludgeoning damage. That's not too bad. That's just a fireball. Yeah. It's negligible. There are four of them. Yeah, that's four fireballs there. <laughs> yes, I've seen that. That's 20d6. However, they it's still, not we got we got we got to find out where they're throwing. Right. Well, so they're, all, we they're all throwing around here. Okay, so they're all going into that one square. Okay. So we roll initiative. Yeah, roll I initiative. really hope they don't win. <laughs> there... Knowing our luck. What is their initiative? Oh, that that's shit. That's their initiative bonus. Close the door. <laughs> Kylie, it's no. <laughs> no, if someone wins initiative, they close the door. No, they've already no. got the grenades, so. No, we kick them back in and then the close the door. Yeah. Well, if you remember, he has to, when you throw the grenade, you have to hit that DC. I know the DC is only five, but technically, if they miss or whatever, then it's uh, scattered, right? 
Is yeah. That is? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Be, yeah. I'll, roll yeah roll I'll, I'll go ahead and roll for that here in a second. Make sure they they hit the DC of that of that space. Let me yeah, get I'm them. sure they will. But you know, I love them. how they have this room that's just a random potential party wipe. <laughs> just a, a, a random TPK potential. Just right, See, I should have kept uh, back here. I knew I should have, but I was like, let's ah. Let's see here. They are going to be... What is their base attack bonus? Okay. Their dex is that. Okay. I'll just roll a d20 because... Fuck it. If I roll, if I roll a one, you know what? Yeah, that's basically all you have to worry about. <laughs> all right, yeah. so one. Yep. Hold on shit, wrong window. One, two, three, four. Okay. Damn it. Okay, yeah, so they all right. managed to hit to get into that that square. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me sort the list. And I'm just block. You're up first. Okay. <clears throat> Well, you know, Blanc, he's a rogue. He don't care. And you said there's a reflex save, right? Yeah. Okay, that's, something, you know, something that Blanc uh, uh, doesn't care about, I guess. So, 20 foot. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> sucks to be Android uh, 7. Really? Um, Android 7, 5, 6, where's Androids 18 and 17? Anyways, uh, anyway, Android 7, a stab up the gun. Alright, Android 7, huh? Alright, let's see here. Uh, oh wow! Just... Oh wow! Androids one through seven were all scrapped because they had design flaws. It was only until Android eight that we started seeing the red ribbon uh, androids. Oh, I was, really? I was wondering about that. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. one, the one that looked like Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. All right. All right, you hit. Cool. You dealt some damage. Nim. Nim is going to cast haste. <gasps> Ooh, I love haste. I do too. And then and get get the <laughs> hell out of dodge. GDFO. <laughs> this won't be a total party wipe. <laughs> if I lose both my characters at the same time, I'm murdering you, Brett. All right. Um. All right. I know where you live. All right. No, you don't. All right. Now the grenades go off. Oh, oh crap! Fucking. Mm. Seriously, you, Nim. Taste on anyway. <laughs> Nim is gonna be the only fucking survivor. Uh, did you? If he up? is, that would that sucks. All right, uh, Ace, Who did you put it on? Everyone. <laughs> okay, hey. I didn't know if he was high enough to put it on. Yet. Yeah, I I got six. That's uh, okay. So we all get uh uh. Well, one of them is in that room. I don't think. Uh, yeah, I couldn't target Blanc. So. Oh, Blanc didn't get haste. Oh. Sorry, I can't. No, you were around the corner, and I was not getting into line of sight. All right. Um. Let's see here, I need to look up. Okay, then. So, what is the DC on this one? Let's see here. Grenade. Oh, thirteen. DC 15 to have the damage. Okay. okay. Alright, go ahead and roll that for the first grenade. First grenade. Alright, Dimitri failed. Uh, Ugg failed. Roba failed. Ivan succeeded. What oh. about uh, Brian Inquisitor John Pascal? Uh, d failed. Fuck! D uh, Blanc. Blanc succeeded. Okay, so... Th so... so... Everybody's getting half except for Blanc because well no. people who no no everybody's getting fucked yeah except er for Blanc yeah Blanc is the only Blanc and Ivan succeeded you're taking half oh. all right take half of please be alone ooh oh. so is the first one or all of them no that's that's just, just one that's just one that's one all oh, right god damn it we're gonna fucking die 
Oh, All right. Wait. Uh, that was. Here, I know right. Jean Basquiat is about to fucking die. Uh, remember to keep this separate though, because it's not. Um, right. It's. Uh, oh yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. 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 We all. How do I mark non um, bludgeoning damage on this thing? It's not non-lethal. It's lethal damage. It's just bludgeoning. Oh, it is still lethal then. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Never absolutely. Mind. It's like being hit by a, a fucking hammer. Never mind. Right. All right, so. All right. That was non lethal. All right. All right. Nope. Next. No. Here's the next grenade. Yeah. Ivan, Ivan saved. Delaro failed. Fuck, he's going to die. Dimitri saved. Ugg failed. Vrobus and Vroba saved. What about Blanc? Oh, my God. Blanc, you also you saved. Ah, uh, so. Whoever decided that it would be a good idea to put a something uh, like this in seven. this area? Uh, fifteen is going to be seven. Yeah. Oh wait. No, oh, no. We are the idiots who, who um kind of grouped up like this. So. Well, I didn't expect that to happen, did we? Well, I ex I moved out a little bit, but I didn't know I needed to be thirty feet away, basically. Yeah. So you know, up. Oh, Pascal's down. For now, and, he, right? and so, he's probably going to die. Hold on here. I'm hero points. You're okay. Hold on. I here. know. In fact, we all have hero points, right? Yeah, we all yes. have hero points. So, no. uh, wait. Hold on, Roba. You. Fuck. Where, where's your? Damn it. On Roba, use reflex. Yeah, Roba, you saved. So you 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 took half of fifteen. Yeah, I, I I I gave put it back. I put it. It's down. I added. This, I blew minus to seven. Okay. All yeah. right. Third grenade. Yeah, third grenade. Ivan uh. saved. Delaro saved. Blanc saved. Dimitri saved. Ugg did not. Of course not. And Vroba saved. Okay, uh. thank God. So, so everyone except Dimitri is going to take half damage of this. So, uh, what? Dimitri saved. Yeah. I said that. I said everyone. Okay, everyone except Ugg. Everyone except Ugg is going to take half damage. All right. And all right. So Jean Pascal Delro is dead, dead. But you have hero points, so you know. Yeah, you know hero points. He. So let me get rid of my three, two hero points, and now he's down to one. Mm -hmm. All right. Right. All right. So you're 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 going to be ignored for the rest of the combat. Right yeah, here is probably. the fourth grenade. Last one. How many? Of oh, thank God. Last one. Save. Fail. Fuck. Save. Save. Doug? Please roll something shitty. Save. Please roll. So what's half of seventeen? Eight. Eight. And Roba's down. Is Roba dead? Dead or? She's down. She's got here. She's gonna use all her hero points, but she's you down. two hero points. Yeah, you she has two. Oh, she only has. She only has two left. How do you have two left? Because I used one last time we played to do something else. All right, and Ugg, use your hero. Because remember when we were fighting that clown? I used a hero point to try to hit it again. Oh right. All right, so Ugg is gonna use his hero points. All right, I'm just gonna remove you guys from the initiative list. Hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. Stand by one second. Uh, is it uh, greater than my con or equal to my con? Fucking goddamn, goddamn grenades. We should start using them. My con? Yeah, we should start using these more. Start using these, considering they fucking uh, do. It would be a neg. It would. Be, you would be if you if you started at neg nine. It would be neg fifteen. That's what you're at. I put eight in there. That's what it was, right? Eight. You said eight, not nine. Either uh, way, I guess either way. <laughs> I, I'm I'm at negative fourteen. Uh, my con is fourteen, so I'm dead. dead. So, okay. Okay. Uh, so All right. When, All right. So use your hero. I was point. looking that up to see if I needed to be one higher. If I was. If I had one more hit point, if someone hey. helped me prior to this, but but anyway, yes, I will use my heal. And uh, and magic dealer, um, and my comment on that money, money well spent. 
<laughs> <laughs> really? 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 Because uh, Blanc is um, looking fine. Why is Blanc down to 39? Oh, that's why. Okay. All right. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, I was on the wrong person. And eight. Yes. And yet Blanc and Dimitri are still up. All right. Now, grenades went. Now they're going to go. Okay. All right. Uh, the first android is going to try and smack Blanc with his morning star. I don't want you to. Well, I don't care what you want. All right, let's... Uh, since I'm not going to be doing the combat, I'm going to be editing one of my backup characters in case I might need them later. Right, because, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, in 10, that's going to miss. Second one uh, is also going to try to swing at you. Uh, 16 is also going to miss. Uh, this one's going to have a five foot step, also try to hit you and miss. And the last one in the back is just going to move over to here, and that's all it's going to do. Ivan! Oh! What hit me? Oh, right. Everything. <laughs> like, my everything hurts. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, Dimitri, you still alive? Um, uh, Right, that's what I thought. Uh, I was like, boom, I boom, 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 boom. Do I not have cure serious yet? I have inflict serious. You think? Oh, well. Serious. Oh, whatever. <sighs> He's going to reach out. And 2d8 plus 6. And, uh. Brother, go get them. I have more for you later. <laughs> Heal for 20, okay. Thank you, brother. Yes, go in there and murder them. Oh, brother, I will. <laughs> Dimitri. Oh. Oh, dear. <clears throat> bum, 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 bum. Uh, Dimitri is going to attack deformed android 4. <laughs> okay. I love it. Alright, uh, let me double check something here. Okay, yeah, you still hit with that low roll on your second attack. <laughs> Good. Oh. Oh wait, no, I put that damage on the wrong android. You may want to make room for me in the room. <laughs> okay. I, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Android Four, you just smash it to pieces. Mm. That sounds... Do you like my grenade? <laughs> <laughs> Is right. it really Blanc's turn? Yeah, it's Blanc's turn. Excellent. Excellent. So... Oh. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Blanc is going to attempt an acrobatics roll. No, I did forget something. What? Uh, I guess my third attack, which I forgot about from Haste, is going to oh. go to Android number five. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, we got. All oh, right, you guys got it. I don't. <laughs> all right, thirty-two points of damage. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. So Blanc is going to attempt an acrobatics roll uh, to get past. I'm just gonna roll it. Uh, I'm gonna try to get past Android Seven. Okay. Did it work? Yeah. Okay. As Blanc rolls through Android 7... Uh, you're, uh, do you also need to give me one for a 6? Mm, do I? Uh, you're passing through a thread square. That I do. Here's this. Uh, that is sufficient. Alright, good. As Blanc rolls through Android 7 square...
Another Blanc is left behind. Okay, what is this? This is Phantasmal. So. Wonderbar. I've been, I've been, um, I've been waiting to use Phantasmal for a long, for a, for a while ever since. All right, so three times per day, the wearer of a suit of Phantasmal armor can leave an illusionary after image of herself in a square she occupied as part of a move action. This double is created through illusion magic from the shadow subschool and is partially real. The illusionary double cannot move from its designated square, but otherwise reacts and maneuvers as directed by the wearer of a suit of phantasmal armor. The double cannot attack, but it can menace opponents and distract them. Oh, and thus I see. An ally for the purpose of determining flanking. Ah, I see. You, so you are you are flanking with yourself. Yes. <laughs> now this was a. <laughs> Was, hey, was this a full round action? This was a full round action, wasn't it? Mm. So, yes. Blanc is, in fact... Um, it's a move action to drop the double so you still have a standard. Oh, okay. Well, guess what? If Blanc still has a... Uh, still can attack? Now, would this be... Uh, would, would I be considered outflanked? With myself? Because I have outflanked? You're your own ally, so... So, yes, right? I would imagine so. Yeah, yeah. Go okay, alright, so uh, here, here's a... Here's a sneak attack up the, uh... Up the bum. Yeah! Brett, I've been waiting to use this. <laughs> I don't blame you. That's, that's pretty this, cool. This is Blanc's Wombo Combo. Combo. I mean, drop drop a, a a double, roll through, stab up the ass. By the way, did that hit? Yeah. Yes. Uh, these. Oh, by the way, so the illusionary double has AC equal to twelve plus the enhancement bonus of the phantasmal armor. A successful melee or ranged attack against the illusionary double, or any damage from an area effect attack, dismisses the effect. So. You know, it's good, but it, you know... It's fragile. It's very fragile. Alright, Nim. Uh, yeah, okay. Hmm. That's weird. Mm, Nim is going to have to double move to get to viewing position. <laughs> Which means they might as well move back. Uh, here. Okay, and just make sure I have everyone's vision set up. Okay. So, it is their turn now. They're all going to... Let's see here. Hmm, they don't know which one of you was real. Nope. So I'm going to roll a D2, but they're all going to name I surge. <laughs> okay. So let's see here. Let's roll a D two four. Actually, let's see here. Wait a minute. It's illusion, isn't it? It's partially real. It's part of the shadow sub school. All right. So I think that still would work on them because ordinarily not affected by mind affecting things. No, and the shadow sub school. <laughs> uh, it's illu It's uh, the devil is created through illusion magic from the uh, shadow sub school and is partially real. All right. Is there any save or anything determined when it is an illusion? Nope. All right. So 
I'll just do a D2 then. A one is the illusion, two is going to be you. Okay. So they are going to be attacking you. That's perfectly all right. All right, let's see here. This is going to be a D20 plus a seven, plus eight and seven. So that'll be 22 to hit you. Barely hits me. All right, let's see here. And this Morning Star does not a whole lot of damage. No. Uh, eh. Fifteen points of damage. That is a lot of damage. Never mind. All right, now let's do the second one. It is going to attack you. Okay. For oh, 35. Holy shit. Barely hit barely hits me. That's again. a natural 20. Alright, roll to confirm. Now, as far as as far as I'm aware, this nanny surge will not apply to the confirmation. No, it doesn't. It's only two. The one, one roll. So uh, one so, roll. So the confirmation no rolls use the same modifiers. Damn it. Huh. Okay. Alright, roll to see if you can confirm. Oh no, sir! Nah. Thank God, because I only have 32 hit points left. <laughs> yep. Alright, so you'll take 14 from him. Uh, right. This one is going to fight with step over here and try to hit Dimitri. That's a mistake. Indeed it is. I mean, you're just getting closer. Uh, 19 to hit will miss. I'm, yeah. I mean, Dimitri yeah. could just pick him up and then bite his head off. Uh, Ivan. Alrighty then, Ivan. Huh. It's just so weird that there. Uh, anyways, um, Ivan will do 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 do. I'm going to give Grant my brother the healing hex, which now also comes. In the form of enhanced cures. I thought you were gonna say in grape flavor. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. Anyways, um, so do 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 cure mod. Man so hit by train. Hmm. Oh. And that gives you another seventeen hit points. John Wick. Okay. John Wick Writer to pen Dungeons and Dragons live action series. I'm okay with that. I'm okay yeah, with. As long that. as it has all the has the same action style as John Wick. I'm okay with that. All right, Dimitri. I'm getting a lot of weird crossovers, considering like just this morning they uh, Rooster Teeth announced a pretty cool crossover with for Ruby. A crossover with Ruby. What are they, what are, what are they crossing it with? Justice, Justice League. League. Justice League. Specifically, yeah, Justice League. Um, the future slate. So, um, you know, that's on Android Five. All right, Android Five. Yeah, and it's a pretty full-on co uh, crossover. All right. All right, your first attack. Kills it. Uh, do you have reach to anyone else? Second attack. Nope, that'll do. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Great failure in your first attack. Okay. That's it for Dimitri. Okay. All right, Blanc, you're up next. Okay, Blanky, Blanky, Blanky is still flanking with himself. Which I absolutely positively love. So uh so Blanc is going to uh, attack deformed android number seven. Okay. Those both hit. Okay, yeah, and it is dead. How many of these damn things do we have left, too? Let me see. Uh -huh. I need to see if it would have died. It died on your first attack. 
Oh, did it? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, well, move the other attack over to Android 6. Unfortunately, it will not benefit from flanking. Yeah, even with uh, losing your flanking bonus, it will still hit. Okay, and also lose the sneak because... Right, yes. So it's only going to take the damage, 5 damage. I'm sad, but at the same time, I'm not. There's only one injury left. Yep. Nim. Nim's moving around again. <laughs> uh... God fucking damn, Henry Winkler is not... The Winkler is not fucking playing. What are you doing? I cannot get a line on the uh, the other android, so I guess I'm not doing anything this round. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's see here. And uh, now the other android is going to roll D D2 to see who he's going to hit. Roll the one. Damn it. Now he doesn't have the Nanite Surge anymore. Thank God, because that was annoying. And that's going to be a miss. Yeah, like I said, that's annoying. Yeah, you know, I don't think you've ever used your Ninite Surge. I no, I really don't because I haven't gotten into a situation where a Nanite Surge would be appropriate. All right, because, Ivan. You know, okay, Ivan has done more than enough to basically get get his comrades up. So, for the other comrades, we're just gonna walk over here. Basically, get he got his brother up, and I will uh, in play. Let me find out how much it is. Three d six, excellent. Uh, can I start? Um, can I start uh, 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 getting these guys up with uh, channels? No. Okay then. Not until uh, not until combat is concluded. Okay, so for right now, he's going to poke himself with the wand. Indeed. How many charges you got left on that thing? I have many. Uh, that was for Ivan, not, you know, just, yeah, ignore that. I wouldn't worry about it. All right. I have enough. All right. I have, two, I, I have 100. I have uh, 82, 88 charges left. Nice. Right. Dimitri. Dimitri moves into the room, provoking an attack from Deformed Android 6. Ooh. That will actually hit. Yeah, that that should hit. Yeah, that, hit, that will not confirm. That's close, though. That's there, not let me uh, let me double check to make sure they actually don't have a crit range. No, they don't have a crit range. Oh, <sighs> good. And it will not. Okay, I don't know why I was rolling for that. There was no confirmation roll. So, uh, damage roll. Yeah, I don't know why you rolled that to begin with. I don't know either. Oh. 14 damage. Hey, stop undoing most of my healing. <laughs> no. Stop, <laughs> like, stop, <laughs> like, stop breaking my stuff! <laughs> Counterpoint! <laughs> <laughs> this giant butchering axe comes down on his head. Uh, you should have you gone countering point. Get these hands. <laughs> All right. There we go. Okay. Damage has been dealt. Blanc. Oh, it's still up? Yeah, it's still up. Oh, that sucks uh, for it. Round. <laughs> I mean, it really sucks for it because guess who? Guess what Blanc is still is still now doing? Yeah, I, yeah, I know you're, you're, you have Elflink with Dimitri now. Yep. All right, let's see here. Four minus seven. Okay, still up. Second attack. Six minus nine it is dead. I do oh not God. like. All right, and Blanc's other uh, twin disappears. Pops out of existence. Like <laughs> dust in the wind. These. I did not like that. Oh, many people are dead. <laughs> no, 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 no. They fine. All right. As soon, as soon as combat is over, they all wake up with one hit point. Okay, good. 
because that makes my job so much easier. All right, guys, get around, everybody. I give you Oops, the robot. breath of life. So, uh, actually, this reminds me. I was playing um, Kingmaker uh, yes. the other oh, night, yeah. and um, I got I got into this cave system. And I was fighting a bunch of boggins. And I got to the end while I was fighting the boss, and um, I party wiped. Oh, lovely! But here's here's some here's some interesting that happened. I did not I did not expect this to happen. When my last character got knocked was killed, yeah, everyone came back with three hit points. Huh? You kept going? I kept going, and I was able to beat the boss. Wow, that's <laughs> that's attrition. Anyways, Ivan's gonna channel once, twice. Three times. Everybody is going to get back... 32. 32 hit points. Now, here's the most interesting that I learned. Um, when you... The rules and mechanics are a little bit different in that game as opposed to normal Pathfinder. Maybe it's just because I have the typically level set. I don't know. But, right. when, but when you rest in that game, you don't rest and you're regaining hit points equal to your hit dice. Or equal to your level, rather. You, right. you get back max hit points. Nice. Which I wish I had known that because I wouldn't have wasted all my healing potions first. It happens. Does that game have permadeath? Mm. Can there are no there are certain um, uh, uh, difficulty levels that has the permadeath on it. Okay, which but, ones don't have permadeath? So I, I never play those. I don't know. I'm no. all right. So because um, I hate that shit. Yeah. Alright, loot, well, uh, same as before, but no no concussion grenades, so... Because all... they wasted all of them to fuck us over. Yeah, so all these guys have on them are... Okay, hold on, no, they had two concussion grenades each, so you have one concussion... So you have total four concussion grenades, four sets of hide armor, and four morning stars. Okay, so from this we've gathered that the concussion grenades are broken as fuck, and we should definitely, every time we go into a room and we know someone's in there, we should chuck them in. We shouldn't, because they're quite expensive. They're worth a lot. I mean... Okay. Yeah, much. Every I mean, time we know a boss is in a room, we should chuck them in. You know, you are a very strange person when it comes to um, uh, doing stuff like that. No, I'm not I'm not saying this in character. I'm saying this in person, as myself. Alright. Right. So I'd anyways. rather not throw away 3,000 gold every other fight, but... Ugh. Good. Ugh. Mike? Mm. Mike, you're muted. Yeah, I, I was trying to get my unmute there. Yes. Ugh. Here. You're going to get back one, two, and three. Three more hit po uh, uh Anyways. Two and three. Vroba. <laughs> one, two. Do you have any more? Uh, Ugg, you're looking... Alright, one more for Ugg. Oh, While you're doing this model, use the scroll detect magic off the shield because Thank it's you. literally useless to him. Okay. Alright. 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 Roba is back in hell, back in full bump, back in full gear, pissed off at every, at every fucking thing that murdered her. Tried to murder her again. All right, uh, we're, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and end the session here. Okay, dokie. Um, okay. Because uh, I want to go cook some dinner before I go to work. Oh, that's uh, right. You're back to work. Yeah, I'm back to work. So I mean, it's it's nine thirty. So it it's after nine thirty. So it's a good. This is a good spot to to, to uh, put a pin in this. Okay. XP do we get? I will give that to you in a second as soon as I sign off. Yep. All right. All right, well, thank you for running. Sure. Yeah, thank, thank, you. thank you. Yep. And as for, for everyone else, thank you for joining us this evening for uh, The Choking Tower, Iron Gods. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Good night.